another bicep technique. I believe these are the most thorough techniques I have ever seen. If you are watching these videos, let me know how they're working for you. I want to communicate. I am using a five pound weight, but at the end of the workout, I got an incredible pump from doing all the exercises. So if you just add five to 10 pounds to that, I say 15 pounds would be a max for this movement, for this exercise, for these techniques. So, let me know if these are helpful, if they're working, if you like them. This, these techniques that I did for this video would be good for shoulders as well, for lateral raises. So, if you watch these videos, let me know if you want to see that, because the shoulders for me are harder to get to respond. For me, biceps and chest respond very quickly to my training when I go to the gym, but my shoulders, they're, they don't really respond very well, so we have to come up with these kind of techniques the one I'm doing for the biceps to get them to respond to our training These techniques that I am creating are for people who want to see serious results. You know, the beginners who who want to really, you know, get gains. So I believe these techniques are very are going to be very helpful. You know, if you if you watch any of these videos, you know, just make sure to you know like, respond, subscribe. Let me know. You know, that you're there you know, so I can put out what, what you need you know like shoulders or, or you know chest and stuff like that because even these techniques will work for you know um kid flies um dumbbell flies you know the peck deck it'll work very well my um, preacher curl division technique will work perfectly on some cable flies to build up the chest. I currently have one lady from Mexico who is doing these bicep techniques and she tells me that they burn very bad but that is very good. first division I'm doing eight repetitions in the second division I'm doing three repetitions and in the third division is always five repetitions you can choose your rep ranges for the first and second but the third is always five so for me personally I like the eight reps in the first division and three reps, three to five reps in the second division. I feel like that's a good range 
for building. So you have to find a weight that will allow you to complete the reps that you choose in the first and second and five and the third. So you have to kind of, you know, you have to gauge the weight to your reps. When you are doing the preacher curl division, when you perform the rip, you can always push your elbow forward to help with the contraction. So let's say when you're doing the first division, I do eight rips. You make sure to move your elbow forward to get a nice strong contraction. When you go from the first division to the third to the second division and to the third division, uh, try not to pause. Try to go through each division without stopping. Um, you might have to pause a brief moment, maybe from the second to the third, but um, try to do it one right after another you know keep that bicep working yeah, i mean as you can see sometimes i give a slight pause but try to make it as slight as possible and then you know contract the bicep to get the most out of it And then a static hold position for the same amount as you did your muscle flex repetition. This would be a good time to rest, but it's still tension on the muscle, so it'll still be uncomfortable. But once you finish the three, then you can throw the weight. What's funny is that this is a five pound dumbbell and I'm all getting hyped up. It's creating a great pump. So with the 15 pound dumbbell, it would be great to get those biceps to blow up. Okay, so we just finished our preacher curl division with our static hold position. We did three sets. We never let go of the weight. So that was, we can count that as one whole set. 
Now what we're gonna do is 10 to 15 regular preacher curls to really get some blood into the muscle. So this is a great technique to incorporate, you know, with because the static hold position, you don't let go of the weight. We did technically three sets, but we can count those as one entire set. So for our second set, we will do regular preacher curls, 10 to 15 high, vol high volume. You might have to adjust your weight, maybe go lighter. When you are doing the regular preacher curls for 10 to 15 reps, give a nice strong hard contraction with the weight that you choose, you know, just to get the most out of the, out of the preacher curl because that is the most important part of the repetition is the top of the movement so we have to really spend some time at least a second but make it a good thorough second as you can see with these we are not static holding you can drop the weight at least hold muscle flex for at least five seconds and then uh, static hold at least for the same amount for these regular preacher crows and then and then you can let it go as you can see i'm dropping the weight because that's what i see in the gym all the time is people they let go of the weight as soon as possible they let go of the weight almost as if they are afraid of it but it's the pain the discomfort that they're trying to get away from You can do two to three sets for your second set of just regular preacher curls. You can do 10 to 15. That's your preference. You know, depending on how serious you are about um, putting some gains on your biceps. Obviously, the more is better. So now that we completed our second set of just regular high repetitions, we're going back to the preacher curl division. So in total, do at least two of each. You do two sets of three sets in the muscle flex repetition I mean my preacher curl division and then you do two of the 10 to 15 rep sets so at least two max three so you do three of each static hold position of course Make sure you pick a weight that's comfortable for you that can let you complete at least three preacher curl division sets with the static hold position so you're not going to be going very heavy if you're very strong 
maybe you can do a, a 20 pound weight but yeah you have to gauge it because you're, you'll never let go of the weight and that static hold position will increase time under tension but as well will fatigue the muscle so don't think of this as strength try to think of it as an endurance you have to hold that weight for those three sets and call it one set and endurance is also a strength it's a different kind of strength but without a doubt it is a strength if you have endurance muscular endurance and you can keep going maybe no farther than last time that means you are stronger so endurance is a strength not just you know one rep maxes you know, that is strength but that's not the only kind of strength try and contract the muscle as hard as you can every single repetition so this would be a great way to warm up with a five pound dumbbell at your local gym that you go to would be a great way to warm up you just get a five pound dumbbell and you just see how it feels you you do your three to five regular preacher curls before your muscle flex repetition for five ten to fifteen seconds i do my at least fifteen seconds i do more sometimes and you think of that muscle flex repetition as individual reps so and then you fall into the division and you just see how you feel after three sets and you call it one set with a static hold position now just to get your you know biceps warm and then you can go up to 10 15 in if you can 20 I would be very impressed with anyone who can do this technique with a 20 pound dumbbell so you know let me know if, if you're if you're that strong I want to know, you know, the people that are watching my videos, you know. So just communicate, say what's up. I have a Facebook and Instagram, the practitioner, aka the genius. So I want to see people doing these techniques because I believe they are from the future. You know, you see my sweater, currently working for NASA, so. Time, I've time traveled before, so just say what's up. let me know if you also see that that people once they complete they complete regular repetitions they let go of the weight i find that kind of funny but you know they haven't been taught the static hold position so i hear time under tension but 
you know, I guess the, the only way I've heard is just to increase the reps, you know, 15, 30 reps, that's the way to increase time under tension, so that's the only way I've heard of, you know, just let me know what you think about it, what you hear, you know, so time under tension, you just increase by a lot of reps, and to make it harder, you just add weight, so these techniques I believe are are going way further than than what I've seen so far and I've never seen with this kind of detail you know attention to detail these techniques so you know let me know what you think Thank you for watching the video and thank you to anyone who's watched any of my videos. I call myself the practitioner aka the genius. You know make sure you you do these workouts and these techniques. You know I put a strong emphasis on technique because I believe that's what's lacking. It's so simple, the training that I've seen. So, thank you again and, and have a great workout.